Hello and welcome to this day in history for January 23rd. January 23rd is the 23rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar with 342 days remaining until the end of the year, except for leap years when there's 343 days remaining to the end of the year. Today, January 23rd, is my dad's birthday. Since this video does go out to the whole wide world, I'm not going to say how old he is or what year he was born, but happy birthday, Daddy. <laughs> and now on with the rest of the video. Today's word is expeditious. Expeditious is an adjective that means done with speed and efficiency, marked by or acting with prompt efficiency. Earliest documented use of the word expeditious is late 1500s to early 1600s. Expeditious. And with that, we're going to start with the year 393, when I guess it must have been Take Your Kid to Work Day on January 23rd, year 393, when the Roman Emperor Theodosius I proclaimed his eight-year-old son Honorius co-emperor on January 23rd, 393. I found that amusing. I mean, it probably wasn't so amusing back in the day, but <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Take your kid to work day. My daddy took me to work. <laughs> this is the birthday of founding father John Hancock, born January 23rd, 1737. He's remembered for his distinctive signature on the Declaration of Independence, such that the term John Hancock has become a synonym for one's signature. He had some sort of illness in his later years, the details of which I've not been able to determine, and he died in 1793 at the age of 56. This is the birthday of French Impressionist painter Edward Manet, born January 23, 1832. He painted scenes of everyday life in that time and is considered a pivotal figure in the transition from realism to impressionism. Later in his life, he suffered from neurological effects of syphilis in the days before effective treatment was available, and he died in 1883 at the age of 51. This is the birthday of weapons designer John Browning, born January 23, 1855. Often referred to as the father of modern firearms, John Moses Browning was a remarkable and insightful weapons designer. His designs were all aimed at improving the speed and reliability with which gun users could fire multiple rounds, and he designed guns for over 50 years. Almost as a tribute to his skill, since his death in 1926, there have been no further fundamental changes in modern firearm design. Mr. Browning lived to the age of 71. This is the birthday of Ernie Kovacs, born January 23, 1919. He was a writer, comedian, and actor. We mentioned him recently, about 10 days ago, when he died in a car crash. But this was the day he was born, back in 1919. He was an innovation. <laughs> he influenced a good many who came after him, like Johnny Carson, David Letterman, Saturday Night Live, Monty Python's Flying Circus. <laughs> Can you imagine being an inspiration to the likes of Monty Python's Flying Circus? Well, that's Ernie Kovacs for you. You can find a wide variety of examples of his work on YouTube. And as we mentioned the other day, he died in a car crash in 1962 when he was 42. In 1920, the Netherlands refused to surrender the exiled Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany to the Allies. Now, we've talked about the Lend-Lease program before, and the famous aviator Charles Lindbergh disagreed with this policy. And he also felt strongly that the U.S. should negotiate a neutrality pact with Hitler. He testified thusly before Congress on this day in 1941. Even if anyone else had thought that was a good idea and had successfully completed such a negotiation, history has shown that Hitler was not a good and faithful business partner. He went back on agreements. Lindbergh's insistence in these matters dimmed his popularity for over a dozen years, but he was able to finally overcome that unpopularity. 
On January 23, 1957, the Whammo Toy Company produced their first Frisbees. Many of you probably already know that the story of the Frisbee goes back to the Frisbee Pie Company, which was formed in 1871. Students from the nearby universities like to throw those empty pie tins back and forth. In 1948, a couple of guys developed a plastic version they called the Flying Saucer that flew better than the pie plates. Those two guys parted company and one of them, Frederick Morrison, further developed the Flying Saucer, renamed it the Pluto Platter, and sold it to Whammo in 1955. Whammo, who also had made the Hula Hoop, the Super Ball, the Water Wiggle, changed the name of the Pluto Platter to the Frisbee disc after the original pie company. And the rest, as they say, is history. <laughs> Nowadays, at least 60 manufacturers make flying discs, but, but the official Frisbee brand is owned by Mattel toy manufacturers who bought it from Whammo in 1994. In 1964, the 24th Amendment to the United States Constitution prohibiting the use of poll taxes in national elections was ratified. On January 23, 1968, the USS Pueblo, a Navy intelligence vessel, was captured by North Korea. Things got ugly. The North Koreans tortured and browbeat the Americans who resisted. Eventually their release was negotiated and 11 months later, the 82 crew members were released and the heroes got home in time for Christmas. <laughs> now for some wrestling news, as we might say it around where I grew up, wrestling. <laughs> On January 23rd, 1974, a fella y'all might have heard of him. <laughs> Big old fella named Hulk Hogan <laughs> beat the wrestler known as Iron Sheik to win his first World Wrestling Federation title, that's WWF title, at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Now, Madison Square Garden, in case you didn't know, is neither a garden nor is it square. <laughs> but that's a story for another time. In 1997, Madeleine Albright became the first woman Secretary of State, becoming the highest ranking female official in U.S. history. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Feel free to share this video. And one more time, I want to say happy birthday, Daddy. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Good job. Not too salty, though. Got to be just right. No, it's not. Okay, hold on. Okay, do that again. That's not a nice way to say it.